Now that our borders are reopening, we would like to introduce you to the amazing bird life of Costa Rica. This small, very friendly and stable Central American country is a great introduction to tropical birding. This first episode of this three-part series will cover the birds of the highlands above 1,500 meters, 4,500 feet. In episode two, we will show you the birds that we encountered in the foothills between 500 and 1500 meters. And the final episode will showcase the birds of the lowlands below 500 meters. Be sure not to miss an episode by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you. Here is a bird from our next video. Let us know in the comments below if you can name this species. Situated in the Guanacaste mountain range of northwestern Costa Rica, the Rican de la Vieja National Park is named after its centerpiece, a 6,286 feet active volcano. The area is famous for boiling mud pots, rainforests, waterfalls, and of course, many birds. The cinnamon hummingbird is fairly common in dry tropical forests second growth, and gardens. In Costa Rica, its range is limited to the northwest. The Pacific screech owl is fairly common in scrubby woodlands, thorn forests, and gardens. The Hoffman's woodpecker is a common in open areas with relatively few trees parks, and gardens, mainly in the Northwest and the Central Valley. The distinctive bright rumped Attila is a common and widespread flycatcher of mature forest, forest edges, second growth, and gardens. It has a habit of flicking its tail up and down while perched. The great Kiskadee is common and widespread in a wide variety of habitats and elevations in Costa Rica. In Costa Rica, the gray-headed tanager is restricted to lowland and foothill humid forests and second growth, mainly along the Pacific Slope, where it is fairly common. The stripe-headed sparrow is a common and conspicuous bird of dry, scrubby woodlands and brushy fields in northwestern Costa Rica. As shown here, it often perches on fence posts. The gray-crowned yellow throat is common and widespread in grassy fields with scattered bushes. Located in the Central Highlands, the Monte Verde and Santa Elena Cloud Forest Preserves are about a four-hour drive from the capital city of San Jose. Here are some of the birds that we encountered at this spectacular area. The large chicken-like black guan is endemic to mature montane forests of Costa Rica and western Panama. This distinct black bird has a blue facial skin, red eye, and reddish-pink legs. The violet saber wing is a very large, spectacular hummingbird. It is common in the lower levels of mature wet forests. The green hermit is a large hummingbird with an extremely long and decurved bill. It is common in mature wet forests and forest edges. The coppery-headed emerald is fairly common at feeders near the Monte Verde Cloud Forest Preserve. It is one of the three species of birds endemic to mainland Costa Rica. The other two birds are mangrove hummingbird and black cheek ant tanager.
The green crown brilliant is common in wet montane forests, second growth, and forest edges. The plain cap star throat is fairly uncommon in arid to semi-arid forests and forest edges. This large hummingbird occasionally strays northward from Mexico into southeastern Arizona. Formerly known as green violet ear, the medium-sized lesser violet ear is fairly common in wet montane forests, forest edges, and gardens. The purple-throated mountain gem is endemic to the highlands of southern Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and western Panama. It is common in high elevation wet montane forests, forest edges, and second growth woodlands. The striped-tailed hummingbird is a medium-sized hummingbird that is uncommon in montane humid forests, forest edges, and shade coffee plantations. The female is pale gray below. The blue-vented hummingbird is endemic from western Nicaragua to central Costa Rica. It is fairly common in forest edges, shrubby second growth, and gardens. The magenta-throated wood star is a tiny hummingbird that flies with its long tail cocked up. It is endemic to the Telemecan highlands of Costa Rica and of western Panama. The unmistakable and graceful swallowtail kite is common in a variety of woodland habitats. We observe this bird on our way down from Monte Verde. Although the bear shanked screech owl is fairly common, it can be difficult to find in moss covered montane forests and forest edges. The large and spectacular resplendent quetzal is fairly common in mature wet forests, forest edges, and even gardens with large fruit trees. The dollar female lacks extremely long upper tail corvettes. Formerly known as the blue crowned Montmont, the Lessons Montmont is common in humid tropical forests and forest edges. It is absent from the Caribbean slope. The Northern Emerald Toucanet is fairly common in humid tropical forests, gardens, and the second growth of woodlands. This blue throated race is restricted to Costa Rica and Western Panama. The yellowish flycatcher is common in humid montane forests and adjacent second growth and gardens. It has a teardrop shaped eye ring similar to the Western type flycatcher of North America. The bizarre looking male three wattled bell bird typically perches high in forest canopies singing its far carrying bell-like bonk calls. It has a limited range from eastern Honduras to western Panama. The long-tailed mannequin is common in both wet and dry tropical forests along the Pacific slope of Costa Rica. The unusual looking chunky rufous browed pepper shrike is fairly common in a variety of woodland habitats, forest edges, and mangroves. The rufous and white wren is common in forest, forest edges, thickets, and mangroves, mainly in the northwestern region of Costa Rica. The stub tailed gray breasted wood wren inhabits the dense understory of wet montane forests and forest edges. This wren is a highland counterpart of the similar white breasted wood wren. The orange billed nightingale thrush is fairly common in dense second growth, shady gardens, 
and coffee plantations. Its orange bill, narrow orange eye ring, and yellow legs identify this bird from other similar looking thrushes. The yellow-thighed brush finch is a sooty gray bird with unique yellow thighs. It is endemic to the forests and edges of Costa Rica and western Panama. The white-eared ground sparrow is fairly common, but not easy to see in the dense undergrowth of humid woodlands, coffee plantations, and thickets along ravines. Formerly known as a three-striped wobbler, the Costa Rican wobbler is common in the understory of moist montane forests. It is endemic to Costa Rica and western Panama. On our way south to Savegre Valley, we stopped to have a meal and check the feeders at the Merida Valle del General, located along the Inner American Highway at kilometer 119. The red-headed barbet was one of the first birds we saw at the fruit feeders. This species is uncommon in montane wet forests. With its red head and yellow beak, the male is unmistakable. The blue-cheeked female gives the impression that she could be of a different species. We were thrilled to see this brilliant looking speckled tanager at the feeders. This tanager is fairly common in forests, forest edges, and gardens. The Tennessee Wobbler is an abundant North American migrant found in forest edges and gardens. Birds arrive from North America in early September and depart in early May. The Baltimore Oriole is also a common and widespread North American migrant from early September to early May in forest edges and gardens. Located in southern Costa Rica, the spectacular Talamanquin Highlands extend into western Panama. It is here that birders from all over the world come to look for some very range-restricted birds. Before heading up to Sierra de la Marte, which is the highest point on the Pan American Highway, we highly recommend stopping at the absolutely incredible Sivegre Valley. The distinct and fairly common white-throated mountain gem is endemic to forests, forest edges, and the gardens of Costa Rica and Western Panama. The very small scintillant hummingbird is endemic to Costa Rica and Western Panama. It is fairly common in brushy forest edges, coffee plantations, and gardens. The spot-crowned woodcreeper is fairly common in mature oak forests and gardens. This high elevation wood creeper is fairly common in the Talamancan Highlands. The mountain alina is common in high forest edges and gardens where berries are available. The distinct tufted flycatcher is common and widespread in the highland mature forest openings, forest edges, and gardens. The black cat flycatcher is endemic to the highlands of Costa Rica and western Panama. It typically forages in forest edges, brushy pastures, and gardens. The yellow-winged vireo is common in forests, forest edges, and gardens of the Central and Talamancan Highlands. It is endemic to Costa Rica and western Panama. The blue and white swallow is common in both rural and urban areas, with large flocks often flying over forests, open fields, and lakes, or perched on telephone wires.
The tiny ochreous wren is endemic to the dense highland forests of Costa Rica and Panama. The black-faced solitaire is common in montane wet forests. It is endemic to Costa Rica and western Panama. The black-billed nightingale thrush is a common thrush in mature highland forests. It is endemic to Costa Rica and Panama. The somewhat plain-looking ruddy-capped nightingale thrush is common, but usually hard to see in highland forests, especially with pine oak trees. The sooty thrush is common in highland forest edges and open areas. It is endemic to Costa Rica and western Panama. The clay-colored thrush is widespread and very common in scrubby woodlands, towns, and parks. It is the national bird of Costa Rica. The very distinct long-tailed silky flycatcher is fairly common in forests, forest edges, and gardens. It is endemic to Costa Rica and western Panama. The flame-colored tanager is fairly common in forest edges and gardens. The male is shown. The female is more yellowish. Despite its bright plumage, it can be easily overlooked when quietly foraging. The multicolored spangled cheek tanager is fairly common in montane forests and forest edges and is endemic to Costa Rica and western Panama. The silver throated tanager is very common in montane and foothill forests and forest edges. Formerly known as common bush tanager, the common chlorus fungus is very common in humid evergreen and pine evergreen forests, second growth, and gardens. The brightly colored collard red start is endemic to montane forests and edges of Costa Rica and western Panama. With its unique upturned bill and a sharp hook at the tip, the slaty flower piercer uses its bill to pierce the base of flowers to extract nectar. It is endemic to Costa Rica and western Panama in forest edges, shrubby second growth, and gardens. The strikingly patterned Rufus Collard Sparrow is a common inhabitant of fields and brushy thickets, especially near human settlements. We hiked the Radio Tower dirt road to the summit of the mist-shrouded Sierra de la Madre, which translates to Mountain of Death, to look for the Talamanican endemics at an elevation of 10,942 feet. 3,335 meters. We felt fortunate to find the very small volcano hummingbird. The spectacular fiery throated hummingbird. The sooty capped chlorosphingus, which we found in a mixed species flock. The volcano junco with glaring yellow eyes and pinkish bill. And the stunning flame throated wobbler. We hope you enjoyed this video and that it gives you an inspiration to visit this incredibly friendly and spectacular country. If so, please click the like button and be sure to subscribe for more Advent Natures.